money. A little bit about credit, credit tips, increasing your credit scores, some credit myths, and things that you'll want to know, all credit related. Your credit score or FICO score determines the terms and interest rates that you receive on credit cards, car loan, mortgage loans, and even the cost of car insurance. A lot of employers are even looking at your FICO score to make a decision on whether or not they're going to hire you. So your FICO score provides the best guide to future risk based on solely your credit report data. Now, credit scores vary from the low 300 to 850. Uh, FICO score is the middle score from the three bureaus. They're going to look at Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian to determine what your FICO score is. A 760 or higher is considered an excellent FICO score. 660 or lower is considered in the challenged area, and you might need to do some structuring, restructuring to improve your credit score. Why are consumer credit report scores different than when you're looking at a lender credit score? Because if you've ever applied for a mortgage and you've looked at your score, maybe myficoscore.com is a common one that consumers use, and then you go to your lender and the credit score is different. The credit reports pulled by consumer are different scoring algorithms than pulled by banks, lenders, and credit card companies. Sometimes they're unique algorithms developed by separate modeling companies. Sometimes they're industry-specific variations, and other times their custom algorithm may be utilized. So mortgage lenders have their own brand of FICO score. Even your FICO from myficoscore.com and other consumer credit score resources have totally different algorithms. Now, mortgage credit scores can be different because of the algorithms being used, and FICO has actually 53 different models on credit scores that they grade different industries, again, such as mortgage, auto loans, insurance, student loans, and credit cards. So sorry for the most likely disappointing news, but there's no way for you to find out exactly what your FICO score is, except for get it from um, the Lending Institute and when you're uh, looking at borrowing money. Now, credit components, past delinquents, is 35% of your credit score. Uh, Debt to credit utilization uh, ratio, that's 30%. So basically keeping your credit balances should be under 50%. uh, At least making sure that those credit balances um, do not go over that 50% threshold. Ideally, you can keep it under 30 Average age of credit is worth 15% of the credit score. Don't close credit cards that are older than two years, seasoned accounts are important. Also, you want to make sure, and this is going to sound a little strange, but not paying off collection accounts without consulting with your lender first, because paying off collection accounts a lot of times will actually bring your credit score down depending on the seasoning, because again, the seasoning is important. So once that collection is paid off, you've lost the seasoning for that account. So it's a a one-on-one conversation and what the strategy is going to be in paying off collections and when you want to do that. Mixed credit is worth 10%. uh, Every installment trade line, ideally you have three revolving trade lines. I'm not saying to go out and open new revolving debt to get that ratio of one to three, but it is something that goes into factor in the mix of the credit. So again, it's a one-on-one consultation to determine what you need to do to strategize to increase your FICO score. And last part of the pie for the components is the inquiries. It represents 10% of your credit score. Seven inquiries a year before affecting credit depending on on the uh, the what they're looking at but I you know that's kind of the the range depending on the credit bureau the window for duplicate inquiries can be 14 to 45 days so basically means if you're applying for a mortgage and you have your credit report pulled by multiple lenders as long as it falls within that 14 to 45 days depending on what they're looking at uh, then you should be okay uh, paid off tax liens uh, can be removed so a lot of times people don't know that and it takes some work to get it removed but once it's been paid, released, or satisfied, federal tax liens can be deleted from a credit report and all other public records within 30 days. So this could have a huge impact on uh, your credit score, and it can relatively happen quickly as far as the reflect of the credit score. Some unpaid tax liens can be deleted, so federal tax liens can also be deleted if they have balances that are less than 25000 with on-time payments to the IRS. Add an authorized user to increase your credit score. Adding an authorized user can increase the credit score in as little as three weeks, 
for no car, no charge. So no fees, no credit checks. Best of all, they cannot be denied. You're just getting added to. Now the ideal is getting added to a seasoned account. Remember, at least two years or older. So if you have parents that have a uh, Macy's card that's been open for 10 years, that's a good one to get added to. doesn't mean that they're going to give you the credit card and you have to use it, but just being authorized as an account user. Add secure credit cards. If you don't have anyone that would authorize you to be an authorized user, that's the better scenario. But a backup plan would be to add secured accounts. Lenders like to see three to five trade lines. So if you're lacking trade lines, trade lines meaning you have a Nordstrom's card, you have a car payment, you have a Sears card. So five different trade lines. At, that are open to count. Adding secured credit cards or adding secured accounts can help by increasing those trade lines. So this needs to be structured a certain way, but um, is extremely effective within a couple months. Where you can go for secured cards, a great one is Open Sky CC. Dot com. Again, that's openskycc.com. Keep balances, again, I mentioned at the beginning of the money chat, keep balances below 30% of the available that's, that's available to you. That's the ideal uh, ratio. Definitely you don't want it to get with it over 50%. So if you have a credit limit of 5000 you want to make sure that you never owe more than $2,500 a month. Yes, this is even for those of you that pay your credit cards off every month. You don't want to get it up to over that 50%. So if you have 5000 you don't want to utilize all of that or go over that 50% mark over 2500 even if you're going to pay it off at the end of the month because you don't know when that's reporting and when your credit report is going to be pulled. So if you're looking at securing any type of uh, liabilities or any type of loan, make sure that you're keeping it under that 50%. And uh, consolidate student loans. In student loans, um, if they're in default... They can be consolidated and transferred in a U.S. Department of Education. This will make a huge difference in the score and the overall approval strength. Uh, put burden of proof back on the creditor. Uh, collections and charge off are, delated, are, are deleted at roughly 70%. They generally don't have to be documented to support the account properly and that you can put the burden back on the creditor. Now, this is where a credit consulting or a, a credit a repair company can come into play to assist with this. There's a lot of things that are uh, within with or that are not within fair credit um, uh, rules for you to where it can affect your your credit score with those collections and the collection companies are not reporting it ac- accurately on the credit report. So if you're working with a credit repair company, uh, they can act on your behalf and get those resolved for you very quickly. Again, seventy percent are in a position to where they should be removed because of the way that they're reporting it on your credit report. You just need to have the experience behind it that understand what those are so that they can have them removed for you. Um, Fix inaccurate or additional personal information. 90% of credit reports have additional personal information that is either incorrect, inaccurate, or dated. Um, I've seen scenarios with six different names, two social security numbers, several several different addresses. This can be updated pretty quickly, and it can help remove the inaccurate information that's reporting on your credit, credit report that can also be affecting your credit score. And last, limit credit inquiries, which again, I brought it at the beginning. So you just want to make sure that you're not having your credit report uh, pulled too often to where it's going to affect the score based on the inquiries. Now, this is where somebody is, uh, where you're applying for a debt. So if you're trying to get your credit score from a myficoscore.com, they're not pulling your credit report. So there's no challenges there. It's just if you're uh, trying to take out uh, a new liability to where it's going to be an actual inquiry. That's the Money Chat coming up next in the Money Hour. Are you needing to downsize or have an estate sale? I have Joe Mason with Caring Transition at South Puget Sound right here at 1150 AM KKNW after this short break.